In this Playrate video, I will talk about how to optimize page object model test with the help of fixture. So let's go to the VS code quickly and let's create a new spec file under chapter 5. So here I'll say 07 and here I'll say optimized perm underscore test dot spec dot ts that's it and here i will go to the page object module test and i will copy the test from the previous spec file so if you look at this test guys so let me maximize this window so here we have imported all these pages and if you if you are using 10 pages, 15 pages, you need to import all these pages here. Or if you are writing a test in the multiple spec file, you need to import all these pages also there, right? And then another thing here is, you are always creating the object of the each page class everywhere, right? So there is a better approach to handle all these imports and creating the all page class objects by using the fixture you can achieve this you can keep all the imported pages in single file and also you can create the object of each page class at once and that same reference can be used in the different spec files so let's go to the fixture now so let's make some changes here so here in this file, I'm adding the firstly all the pages references. So inside the our extent. So let me add the first page reference as home page. So which is of type is home page type. So similarly, let's add the result page. So which is of type result page type. So automatically you can see at the top, all the imports are automatically getting added to the current TS file. So similarly, let's add the playlist page. So here I'll say playlist page colon. So let's add the playlist page here. So that's it guys. We are done with adding the all these references. So you can use this reference in the spec file. So before using this spec sorry reference in the spec file, you need to create a object of the each page. Correct. So let's create a object of the each file. So simply I will copy this snippet of code which will create a object of the each page class. So simply go down here after the auto set for the true. So let's add the this code snippet. So here what I am doing is simply I am creating the object of the one page and I am assigning back to the variable called home page. So you can see that so there is another reference assigned so this reference is coming from the top here so this reference and this reference should be always matching so if it is not not matching so you will not get the object of the home page so here i have added the home page so let's add the similarly result page and then playlist page so here I'll add the result page. So let's use the result page reference. So make sure that you are passing to the use method also. So at last we will add the playlist page. So here I will use the playlist page reference. and then 
I will add the playlist page reference in the use also, right? So we are done with adding the references and also we have created the object of the each page class. Correct guys? So we are done with test fixture now. Let's go to the our test file. So here, so I will comment all this importing the pages first then here I will comment the line where we are creating the object of the each page class. So here I will comment the line number 18 also then line number 21 also. Now if you see here guys only references are there here right how you can get the references which we have created in the test fixture right. So you might be having this question. It is very easy guys. How you are getting the page here? Similarly, you can get the references here. So let's load the first home page. So before that guys, what you need to do is, so you need to import the test fixture here. So let's import this test fixture. So I will comment this part also now. So it will say import followed by that. So I will add the test and that's it guys. Now we have here we have imported the our test fixture. So it is very important guys. So you need to use the this particular test fixture. This is where we have created the each reference and respective page class object also. Now you can get the each reference what we have created. If you see here. So we got the home page. Let's get the result page also. Then playlist page. So that's it guys. If you see here, now there are no errors. Let's clean up all the code. So this is very simple guys now, correct? So let me delete all this import. Now our test is ready. So let's run the test now. And it should work properly without any issues. So it has opened with the URL. And here we should be able to search with some keywords. And if you see here and we need to click on the playlist and here we have to validate the page title. And if you see here, our test is perfectly working fine. There are no issues. And also let's check the playlist test report. And if you see here guys, our test is passing. And here you can see that our spec file and test is running here. Correct. So there are no issues. So this is how you can optimize the playwright page object model test by using the fixture.